Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to explain how to delete data from Delta table. Delete is one of the basic DML operations. In our previous videos, I have explained what is Delta table, what is the internal working mechanism of Delta table, and also I have covered how to create Delta table and how to populate the data, means how to insert data into Delta table. Insert, delete, these are very commonly used uh, operations in any database. Same applicable with Delta Lake as well. So in this video, we can see different approaches to delete the data from Delta table. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and attached the cluster. Now in the first step, I'm going to create the Delta table, which can be used for our demo. So let me create. Here I'm going to create a delta table using PySpark syntax. The table name is employee demo and there are five columns. Employee ID, employee name, gender, salary, department. And this is getting created at location, file store, tables, delta, path, employee demo. Let me execute this step. The execution is successful. Now employee demo table got created without any data. So let me query this table first. So table got created, but still there is no data. So for this demo, we have to populate some data. So in this step, I'm inserting seven records into the Delta table. So let me execute this step. Execution is successful. Now table is populated with sample data. Let me query the table. Now we can see seven records, starting from employee ID equal to 100 till 700. We are having seven records. Now let us start our demo, you know, how to delete records from the Delta table. The first approach I'm going to follow simple SQL delete statement. This is very common across all the databases. It's exactly same syntax. Delete, that is a keyword, then from which table, then in the where condition we have to select, we have to give the condition for which we have to delete. Let me execute this step. Execution is successful. Let me query the table once again. Earlier, we were able to see the record for employee ID equal to 100. Let me query once again. Now it's having only six rows. So employee ID equal to 100 that got deleted. So this is one of the basic, very simple method, but still, you know, there are few other methods we can follow that as well. So in the second method, we are going to use Delta table location. So this is not common in any database, but this is applicable to Delta Lake in Databricks. So using this method, we can use the same delete statement, but instead of the table, we can give the location of the Delta table. It starts with Delta dot, then we have to give the location. So this is the location we have created our Delta table, employee underscore demo. So that's the reason I'm giving this location. Then in the where condition, we can give the condition, you know, for which records we have to delete the data for that we can give where condition. So this is another method. Let me execute this. In this um, query, I'm executing employee ID equal to 200. Execution is successful. Now let me query the table once again. See here, now only there are five records. We could not see any employee ID, 100 and 200. So that is a second method. So let us go to the third method. Third method is Spark SQL. In the Spark SQL, it starts with Spark.SQL. Then with it, this is the uh, first approach we have used. The same SQL command can be given within Spark.SQL. Here we don't need to use magic command, percentage SQL. Without that, we can use because this is still going to execute within Python environment or Spark context. Let me execute this one. So in this method, we are uh, removing employee ID equal to 300. So execution is successful. Let me query the table once again. Now we are having only four records. Even we don't have employee ID 300. So this is the third approach. Coming to next approach, now we can use PySpark Delta table instance. For, I have already posted one video, how to create Delta table instance. If you haven't watched, I highly recommend to watch that. So first we can create 
one table instance for our delta table then based on PySpark programming we can delete the record using delta table instance so in order to create a delta table instance we have to use delta table dot for path or for name in this example I am using for name then I am giving the table name so here delta table instance that that is getting created then after that using PySpark syntax delta table dot delete this is syntax and within the bracket we can give SQL condition let me execute this step this is going to remove the record where employee ID equal to 400 execution is successful now let me query the table once again See here we could not see the data where employee ID equal to 400 so using this method as well we can remove the record so the next method I am going to show you how to how to add more conditions for example so far you know we have seen only one condition to delete the record but in real time scenario we can have multiple conditions to choose to select particular record so that it can be deleted so for that you know, simple SQL standard syntax we can follow because this is called SQL predicate in SQL predication you know it is similar to any SQL database how we are giving multiple conditions so we can follow SQL standard so it's only for equal to operator it's only single equal to and uh, to combine multiple conditions we can use and keyword or 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 keyword so same syntax we can follow here as well so here I'm I'm going to delete employee ID equal to 100 sorry 500 and also gender equal to F so in this way we can combine multiple conditions to delete the data let me execute this step the execution is successful let me query the table once again now here even employee ID equal to 500 that got deleted using this condition and the final variety is within the delete within the table instance PySpark code you know we can use either SQL standard condition or we can go with spark SQL predicate also so in this uh, spark SQL you know we, we have some standard coding standard we have to follow that for example in order to refer a column we can use CYL then within that we can give that column name similarly in order to refer in order to uh, get uh, equal to operator you know we have to put equal to uh, character two times so in uh, normal SQL standard it's only one time we can give equal to operator but coming to spark SQL we have to type two times this is spark SQL standard so either we can use uh, standard SQL standard or we can go with spark SQL standard as well so this is another variety so in this uh, example I'm going to remove employee ID equal to 100 let me execute this step so execution is successful let me query the table so here we can see we are left with only employee ID 700 because we have deleted all other uh, uh, all other records so we have deleted six records using six different approaches I hope you understood how to delete the data from Delta Lake table Hope you enjoyed and like the content of this video. If so, please like and comment in YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe this channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.